We come in all shapes and sizes. We do what everybody else does. My friends pretty much see me as just, just a regular person. I'm just like you. Do you know what's totally messed up? What's that? When people judge other people. Yeah. Who gets to decide who's cool and who's not? And on what basis? The clothes you wear, the friends you have, the music you listen to. But here's something that's even more lame. People who judge other people just because they have a medical condition. They can't control that. But it happens. Just ask any teen who has epilepsy. It's really messed up. It's really not right. So when you get made fun of, you don't forget it. Oh, the whole class just ganged up on me and one day I just started laughing. It really hurts if somebody judges you because you have epilepsy. It's definitely not cool. So how come some people act so weird about other people who just have a medical condition? Obviously, they need to get the facts. So where does a lot of the weirdness start? It starts with myths. You know, things people think they know about epilepsy. Some people think you can catch epilepsy from someone. That is just ridiculous. That's stupid. You can't catch epilepsy any more than you can catch blonde hair. Can you swallow your tongue during a seizure? No way. Try it. It's impossible. Some people think you can tell who has epilepsy just by looking at them. That's crazy. Of course not. People with epilepsy look like everybody else. Some people think epilepsy is a psychological problem. You know, like a mental illness. Epilepsy is a medical condition, not a mental condition. Epilepsy is a disorder of the brain in which people have seizures. Some people think that if you have epilepsy, you're mentally retarded. That's ridiculous. Most kids with epilepsy have normal IQs. Those are some of the myths about epilepsy. OK, so let's go inside the brain to see what really happens when somebody has a seizure. Here's someone who knows the brain inside and out. My name's Frank. I'm a neurologist. The brain normally has millions of nerve cells interacting through electrical discharges. If those interactions misfire, it can cause a series of problems in the brain that could cause changes in the way a person feels, the way a person thinks, the way a person moves. It's those changes that we call a seizure. There are different types of seizures. Some are convulsions, while others make you stare into space or act confused. Although there are many different types of seizures, there are two main categories. Partial seizures occur when nerve cells in a specific part of the brain misfire. Generalized seizures occur when the misfiring of the nerve cells occur over the entire brain at the same time. It can be caused by anything that injures the brain. They're probably wondering, OK, what does a seizure look like? So here's an example of a complex partial seizure. Complex partial seizures often begin with a funny feeling, maybe an unusual sensation in the stomach, or somebody feeling like what's going on has already happened before. That would quickly progress into staring, disoriented, confused. Can you hear me? Hmm? Hmm. Are you OK? Oh. Can you hear me? A person might walk around aimlessly. They might perform purposeless, repetitive movements like wringing hands or picking at clothing or do something that seems totally random to you. That could last a minute, a minute and a half. Remember, a partial seizure involves only part of the brain. Now here's what a simple partial seizure looks like. The big difference between a simple partial seizure and a complex partial seizure is that someone is fully aware and thinking clearly in a simple partial seizure. They may have tightening or contraction of muscles that's rhythmic. They may um, see something that's not there. They may hear something that's not there. They may have an experience of unreality or dissociation, not being part of their environment. Remember what the doctor said about generalized seizures that involve the whole brain? Here's an example of a generalized tonic-clonic seizure. In a generalized tonic-clonic seizure, you would see a person's arms and legs stiffen. That might last 10, 15 seconds, followed by rhythmic jerking of the arms and legs. The typical seizure, generalized tonic-clonic seizure, lasts uh, one to two minutes, very infrequently more than two minutes. 
If they're standing, a person will fall. Most people feel that the generalized tonic-clonic seizure is the typical seizure, but in fact, simple partial seizures and complex partial seizures are much more common. Now there's one last type of generalized seizure you should see. It's called an absence seizure. In a typical absence seizure, you would see a person for a brief period, five, 10 seconds, stop what they're doing, stare, appear confused. Sabrina, talk to me. What? I'm fine. I always tell my mother this. I'm fine. Don't take that back, that statement. Because <laughs> he can be as heavy as ever. As ever. They might have subtle blinking movements or subtle twitches of their hands. But again, it's brief. Okay. Five, ten seconds. Okay, so now you've seen four common types of seizures. Complex partial. Simple partial. Generalized tonic-clonic. And absence. Now, some people only have one type of seizure, while others may have several. Each person experiences epilepsy differently. So what if somebody around you had a seizure? What would you do? Laugh. Panic. Take off. Freak out. Here's what you should do. If you're with someone who's having a tonic-clonic seizure, here's what you should do. Say Shirella here is having a seizure. First of all, stay calm. Second, if you have a watch, time the seizure. Remember to cushion and protect the person's head. Turn the person on the one side and stay with the person until they're awake and aware. Remember, never put anything in their mouth and never try to restrain someone who's having a seizure. And if there are people around who are confused, explain to them what is happening. When someone has a complex partial seizure, here's what you should do. Let's say Shirala here is having a complex partial seizure. If you have a watch, time the seizure. Speak calmly and be reassuring. Do not grab or restrain them. And gently guide the person away from any hazard. And explain to others what is happening. For simple partial and absence seizures, the most important thing is to be supportive. And above all, be a friend. Do people often die from having a seizure? No way. It would be a very rare and unusual situation for someone to die from having a seizure. In fact, most people's seizures are completely controlled by medications, and they're able to have a normal, full life. Should you call an ambulance? Fortunately, most seizures will not require an ambulance. The times you need to call an ambulance are when the seizure lasts more than five minutes, or if it's the first seizure they've ever had. If the person appears to have been injured, if they have another condition such as diabetes, or if they're pregnant, if the seizure occurred in an unusual situation where they could have been injured, such as in the water, in each of those situations, it's best to call an ambulance. Okay, so now you've learned a lot about epilepsy. You know that epilepsy is a medical condition and that lots of teens have it. You know that a lot of things people think about epilepsy are just wrong. You know that seizures happen when there's a brief disruption in the brain's electrical activity. And you know that there are different kinds of seizures. You've seen what they look like. And you know what to do if you're with someone who has a seizure. So here are a couple of other things we'd like you to know. And they might be the most important things of all to remember. I run. I play tennis. I swim. And I salsa. Epilepsy is what I have, it's not who I am. We're not different from you at all. My life, epilepsy hasn't really stopped me from doing the things I wanted to do. If you're with me when I have a seizure, just don't freak out. Even if somebody has epilepsy, that they're normal, and they can do normal things just like everybody else. If you're with me while I'm having a seizure, don't, don't freak, freak out. out. Hey, don't freak out. I'm cool with epilepsy. Are you?